Hi everyone, welcome back to another week with another collage for the Collaborative Collage Challenge. This is collage number 34 and it's always so exciting to open a new envelope with collage material. So let's get started. Such a nice color palette. The blue looks great beside the vintage book paper. And I love the dots a lot. The texture on this piece looks gorgeous. I love all the scribbles, lines and shapes and all these different shapes of blue. And those handwritten letters looks great together with printed letters. We have letters on both papers, but they look so different. I think I need a bit more color here and I like the color of the envelope. The warm yellow color is a great contrast to the blue, cool blue. So let's save these stripes. Maybe I can use them later. Blue, black and yellow. Look how gorgeous these three pieces look together. I trim the edges to better see the composition of the collage. This small stripe with some pink on it brings in more interest. Yellow and pink are such a joyful match and a good contrast to the clear structure of the dots. Should I add a bit more color? Oh, look at that. There are small pink dots on the purple. So cool. Now we have very small dots and bigger ones. I love this kind of repetition in my collage compositions. So what can I do to make the big yellow stripe a bit more interesting? I add the white piece to, to change the shape of the yellow piece. And I think I need something on the left side of the collage to guide the viewer's eye around. How about this little yellow dot? Okay, I think that's it. Let's start gluing. It's such a simple composition, but I like it a lot. We have different elements of art here, like shape, color, line, value and texture, but also pattern, movement, contrast and balance. All together creates an interesting composition. It's a very simple composition, but I like it a lot. Oh, 
I always try to avoid air bubbles when gluing the paper, but every now and then there are some air bubbles. I think I used not enough glue or the paper absorbed all the glue, so I use a, a scalpel and cut the paper, apply some glue and smooth the paper. So now we have a, a smooth surface. I hope you find this helpful and it inspires you to start creating. Use your scraps or paints and create something. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun with your materials and happy creating. Bye bye.